Hello, it's Susan Duclos with All News Pipeline. It is December 7, 2014. I'm over at Bob Fletcher's Investigations. And um, this specific category I'm on is the Underground Hideouts. Now, some would call these Doomsday Lairs. And there's a list of well over 100 of them with details on each one of these. Now, many believe what these are, are for the elite, uh, while some major catastrophe goes down and the rest of us are scraping to survive on the outside, the elite, uh, portions of our government, and it's not only the U.S., we're talking, they have these in Russia and China, as was explained by Mr. Fletcher on the Hagman and Hagman show. Um, we're going to go over some of these locations here. First off, you're going to see in here, uh, Mr. Fletcher is under the belief that the next major catastrophe could be Nibiru. This is not about Nibiru. Um, these will apply to any major catastrophe, whether it's a nuclear war, an asteroid, anything that basically just shuts down the world. These are the locations that the elite will be hiding out in. Now, we have heard a lot about uh, shortages in food. Um, an amazing amount of recalls have been going on. Weapons, the governments have been buying up weapons and ammunition like it's it's going out of style and nobody seems to be able to know where all of this is happening missing gold there's been a lot talked about gold's not where it's supposed to be now there's a good chance that all of these missing items are where well they're there i mean money paper money's not going to be any good after a major catastrophe so why not have the gold because gold will always be the standard it, it, people will always be able to trade in it now um, again in this you're going to see the word Nibiru and Planet X coming in uh, the only thing I'll mention about that is that Mr. Fletcher explained on the Hagman and Hagman that at some point he thought Nibiru was science fiction as an investigator a serious investigator he would not even have his name attached to the word Nibiru associated with it in any way but after doing his research and finding out about a lot of this and vanishing money and other stuff he did a complete 180 and now he believes Nibiru will be the next catastrophe I'll go ahead and I'll slap that video as a second one into this even though uh, there is an article already on that I'll link to that also but it's the underground facilities that really has me here if you look at some of these, uh, we're talking 35 stories down, underground hideouts, that's basically what they are. And it says they're constructed with our money, controlled by the elite few in the government, to save the elite few and their families under the banner of continuity of government. Now, it's all bought by the taxpayers, supplied with food by the taxpayers, to save the few people you never meet while they eat hidden, hidden away from danger You'll be stealing to feed your family if you exist at all after enduring worldwide disaster. Now, we're just going to go down to a couple of these. He says some of the uh, most important ones, Denver Airport. Everybody's heard a lot about the Denver Airport. There's a lot of conspiracy theories going on about it. And that's because there's so much uh, secrecy in, in down below. People aren't even allowed you can look up the Denver Airport and you'll find a lot about that. Weather Mountain, Site R Raven Rock, Area 51, Camp David, under the Capitol building. He has pictures of the old NORAD, new hideout, no longer military tracking center, Iron Mountain. But he gives a full list here and it starts in Arizona. As you can see there's quite a few there. I'm going to go to the ones that have the pictures so you can actually see. But as you can see, this list is very long. Okay, now you have the Denver Airport. And let's see. Let me, 
we're going state by state here. They are really preparing for some. This one's very interesting. Dulce. Dulce, New Mexico. Now, again, there are a lot of theories about what's going on at Dulce. It says that in the area of the Jicarilla Indian Reservation, another facility is east of the Dulce facility in a number of miles. This is run directly by the Illuminati with Army and Air Force help. CIA also conduct experiments at the center. Size of the installation is huge, requiring small shuttle trains, has seven levels according to witnesses, serves as a UFO base, biological experiments, production center for small grade drones. Wackenhut provides some of the security on the ground and new aerial space shots show strange giant air fans, 25 of them, for circulation underground at Dulce. Now he's got the pictures of them. You can see the fans that he's talking about here and here, 11 and 11. Then you have Blue Ridge Mountain. They call it Site R, Army Major Electronic Nerve Center. 650 feet below the surface with about 350 staff and over 716 acre area. Possibly connected via tunnel to Camp David. The Nod installation is involved with psychic, demonic, and satellite control over slaves. This underground complex is to allow the government of the United States to escape a nuclear attack. The enormous complex radiates, complex radiates under Washington, D.C. and connects with many other sites. The tunnel system is used to move some of the mind control experiments. The walls and ceilings of the tunnels are ceramic tile with fluorescent lighting recessed into the ceilings. Washington State has many weapons depot. Many can be used as hideouts as well. I've seen the space. It's amazingly secret for an inland water connected arms depot. Offload ships all the time. Atomic weapons. Ships are stored underground for future reactivation at some sites. And he gives more information on this. I will definitely make sure that in the article associated with this video, I link directly to this page because there's so much in it. I don't want to make an hour long video here. So. You guys can just come take a look for yourself. Some of this stuff is a little hard to believe is what I read. You can judge for yourself if if what he's saying is true by the evidence he's obtained. You go through his whole site, you'll see he's, he's come up with quite a bit of uh, evidence supporting his theories. But whether you agree with his theory of what's being done in some of these places, the fact that all of these places exist and a lot of these places can house quite a few people. With the shortages that we talked about earlier and the missing gold and the weapons, medical equipment, bullets, vanishing foods, recalls, all of that, you can decide for yourself if the elite are preparing to bug out and the rest of us are just going to be, you know, left to survive or what. This one is interesting. The Mormon you know, it's a Mormon, uh, Kenneth Kennecott Copper Company, connected to the Illuminati and the KKK. Its connections have been exposed in other writings by this author. Kennecott's mine, reported to be owned by the World Bank. Okay, my microphone stopped working. Uh, we're almost at the end anyway. They definitely read about this Kennecott one. Uh, it's reportedly connected to the Mormon Church and. It receives heavy volume of big trucks after 11 p.m. In normal night, over six dozen large trucks with two trailers each rolling into the mine. Uh, in other words, it appears that the heavy train and tractor trailer activity indicates something besides mining. Another under-your-nose strange operation, the Mormon's fault. Uh, it says, you know, that they collect information on a bunch of people, but nobody seems to know exactly who the information is is on some interesting pictures again I'm gonna put a link go see it go through this man's site his whole site check out some of the investigations he's done some of his work some seems a little off the wall it might be it might not be I mean these days these days after we've seen so many conspiracy theories all of a sudden a decade later being reported as oh wow surprise this was true 
you never know what is and what isn't true it's better to have the information out there you can either confirm it you can research it you can debunk it do whatever you want but at least it's out there